Hi, and welcome to my channel. If you've never been here, my name is Jada and I make art videos. Today I'm doing an oil painting and the supplies I'm going to be using are, in the picture right now, I'm using a mix of Windsor & Newton oil colors, the Georgian water mixable oil colors, some cheap paint brushes, um, odorless mineral spirits, Gal Kid, which is a thinner, and I am painting on a piece of wood. And that wood has been primed. So today I am painting Donald Duck. I am doing a series of Disney fan arts in an impressionistic style, and these are going to be gifts for friends and family. Um, I come from a family that loves Disney, so I think these will make good gifts. Right now I'm thinning down some of my oil paint with mineral spirits, and I thin them down in order to do sort of an underpainting. Traditionally, underpaintings are usually done in one color, but when I'm doing paintings in an impressionistic style, I like to do colored underpaintings, especially because I like to put the paint on very thick in an impasto style, and I just don't want any of the white background showing through. And the reason I thin it down with mineral spirits instead of going straight in with paint is because the mineral spirits will evaporate quickly and this will be dry very, very quickly, like in an hour or so. After it's dry, I always work on my background first, and that's just simply because I don't want to mess up any of the figure later when I'm trying to do the background. And I am painting the background majority with a palette knife. I do go in with a paintbrush, especially right around the figure, but I think with a palette knife you get really, really interesting textures, and I just really like it. Um, I'm trying to make the background sort of a pastel color, or multiple colors, obviously, that I think will um, complement the character rather than take away from the character. I don't want you to pay so much attention to the background because I'd rather you be looking at the character himself. Also, I'm not using a very thick impasto style on the background like I will be using on the character. I really use that palette knife to smooth it down and make it almost look like applied plaster or something of the sort. And this is another way that I keep the background from overshadowing the character because I'm going to put paint on the character much more thickly than I will on the background. And here I am just trying to show you guys what the background looks like and why I love using the palette knife because isn't that texture just really, really cool looking? It's, I don't know, I just love it. For years and years and years, I kind of resisted getting into oil painting because I didn't think it would be my thing. I didn't think I would like it. I was like, oh, I can just do acrylic, and then I got into watercolor, but when I finally did some oil, I realized that I just love the textures that you can get with oil painting. I love the thick textures. It's one of the reasons I've always loved Impressionism is when you go to the museums and look at the paintings themselves, they have these amazing textures that are almost a work of art in and of themselves. So recently, I've been doing a lot of impasto style and very thick impressionistic style oil paintings. I still don't really do that many smooth oil paintings, so that'll be something that I get more into in the future. So when I'm painting Donald, you might notice, especially in the white, I'm not just putting white on him because that would kind of look a little bit boring. If you look at white in real life, a lot of times, especially something like a white duck feather, multiple colors kind of reflect off that white. And since his beak is yellow, he's got red on his bow, he's wearing blue, those colors would all be reflecting off of the white feathers and reflecting into your eye. So you would see a little bit of the yellow and red and blue in the white feathers. But this doesn't just apply to white. You would also see the other colors of his outfit reflecting a little bit on different parts of the outfit. So I wanted to make sure that when I was painting his blue outfit, for instance, that there was maybe a little yellow here and there or a little red. Not so much to make you really notice it upon first glance, but enough to make it be like, oh yes, that is realistic. I would expect that and to give it a lot more visual interest. So I hope that I was able to do that with this piece. Now, I have seen the finished piece, and it's getting close to the end, so you want to see it in a minute. But I really, really do like how this piece turned out. I think it's a really fun piece, and I hope the recipient really likes this piece. 
This was my first Disney impressionistic style fan art that I've done, but as of doing this voiceover, I've done two more, so I have three in total, and they're all going to be gifts, and I think that they look really charming together. I really like them. I kind of wish I could keep them and put them all on my wall, but it's okay. I think they'll be much more appreciated by the recipients. These were really fun to do, and I think that if you're interested in starting oil painting or getting into oil painting, painting in a style like this is almost like an easy way to get into oil painting. What you see with a lot of oil paintings is that you do part of the painting and then you have to let the oil fully dry or partially dry before you work on the next part. And it can take oil several weeks to dry or even longer if you're putting on it on the oil really thickly. And I think this is one thing that I like about these paintings is that I can do them in a sitting. So it might take a few hours, but I don't have to let it dry for a week or two and then come back and do more. So if you're interested in getting into oil painting, but the drying time kind of makes you a little bit nervous and you don't know if you'd want to work on a painting and then pick it up three weeks later, this could be a good place to start um, is doing kind of more quick, smaller, impressionistic style paintings. But we are almost finished with Donald, and I hope that you guys like how he turned out. This was done in 2017, and I'm posting it in 2018. But I'm pretty slow to edit videos, especially over the holidays. Um, now I'm going to try and show you guys a close-up of the paint, because this is one really cool thing about oil paint. And this is why I think that if you have a good museum near you with some nice oil paintings, you should definitely go to the museum and check them out because the textures are just amazing, especially a lot of the impressionistic style paintings that masters like Van Gogh have done. Um, it, it's just really, really cool how you see all of these textures and colors that mix together in the oil painting. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I have two pictures of my finished painting. That way you could just see some of the textures from different angles. Um, once again, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Maybe give this video a like if you're feeling like it. I do a lot of different types of art. I do oils. I do watercolor. I do pretty much everything. Printmaking. I even make the occasional cat toy, and anything and everything that's art or craft related may eventually one day make it onto this channel. But thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a nice day.